Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Hey guys, Oliver Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to update Windows 9X operating systems. That's right. They finally came out with a way you can finally update anything related to Windows 95 and up. Um, and unfortunately, Windows 95 is as low as it goes, but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what you need to do uh, in order to get this to work. So without further ado, let's get right into this. All right, first, you need a computer with the following operating systems on it. Second, you need to make sure that you have a working network card and that your computer can connect to the network. Third, you have to have Internet Explorer version 5.01 at least. And that's it. That's all you need. As you can see, I'm joined with a $5 Windows 98 laptop. Um, I would be using my Windows 95 desktop, but I don't have an Ethernet card for it. So I can't connect it to the Internet, unfortunately. So uh, here I am with this. So let me show you guys how to update Windows 9X. So what you need to do next is actually pretty simple. First, you turn on your computer. If your computer does not come with an Internet Explorer 5.0 or 5.01, the website linked below has downloads for it. And all you have to do is if your computer supports USB, you can use a USB stick and transfer it over through that or you can burn the installer on a CD and then put it right on the computer and where it'll work just fine. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So as you can see, I am booted in to Windows 98 and this is second edition. All right, first what you want to do is you want to open up Internet Explorer. Of course, Windows 98 does not really work on any websites, but what you're going to want to do next is go up here, type in Windows Update Restored.com and then press enter. And as you can see, there is actually a working website for Windows 98 and 95. Of course, it, it really does not load very well, but this is probably normal for this time. I'll put this website link down in the description. As you can see, you can finally update Windows 9X with this website. But this website is in beta. It is not completely finished. Like for example, uh, you can't open up Windows Update V4 or V5 or V6. If you try to open up V6, it'll just it'll attempt to connect you to the actual update website, but obviously that's not going to work. There's a few different things here. This has the compatibility list on it. It, it gives you exactly what you can you can do. You can scroll down here to the bottom, and it, it tells you uh, that it does work with Windows NT Server 4 or Windows NT 4. And then you got Windows 2000, Server 2000, etc., etc. All of this works with it. Of course, it will work whenever they get it finished. If you do not have Internet Explorer 5.0 or 5.01, they give you the option to download it, so you don't have to worry about it. So it requires a minimum of Internet Explorer 5.0 or above. They recommend Internet Explorer 5. So let's go ahead and click here and download it. And as you can see, they have different versions of Internet Explorer as you scroll down through here. Different languages and everything. I'll, I, I'm going to go ahead and download Microsoft Internet Explorer 5.5 because as you can see, I'm only in 5.00. So I'm going to go ahead and click English here run this program, press OK. You can also save it if you really want to. Always trust content from Microsoft Corporation and then go through the setup process. So it's going to take some time to download and as you can see it is written in kilobytes instead of megabytes or gigabytes just because that's just the time. That's how it was back then. They didn't really have megabytes or kilobyte download speeds. All right, it has finished installing. And now, unfortunately, anytime you update an Internet Explorer, you have to restart your computer no matter what. So let's go ahead and push finish here and then we'll get on with the video. All 
All right, as you can see, I've successfully upgraded to Internet Explorer 5.5. So let's get on to the updates. Of course, we got to go back to that website we were just at. And now to show you guys how to update Windows 9X. All you have to do, there's two things you could do here. First one, you can go down here where it says Windows Update Restored V3.1. Or you can click over here where it says Windows Update V3.1. Unfortunately, you can't change the server that Windows 98 itself connects to. So basically, like if you go down here and click on Windows Update, it won't work. And you know, if it shows up like automatic updates, that doesn't show up and work either. So let's go ahead and push Windows Update Restored V3.1. It's going to open a whole different uh, tab. Well, back then, you know, it's a, it's a whole thing. But And you are joined with Welcome to Windows Update. And it says right here, Microsoft Windows 98 Second Edition Updates. And you got two separate things here. You got product updates and sys, uh, support information. Uh, but we're not here to look up the support. Let's go ahead and press product updates. And then this will pop up. You can just check this and press yes. And this always pops up. You can't really, uh, you can't really, you know, get rid of this. Just push yes. There you go. I already have a bunch of software updates. You scroll through here, see what we have. Picks of the month for some reason. You got MSN Messenger, Internet Explorer 5.5, which I have, but I don't have uh, Service Pack One. You can up, you can get Windows Media Player Seven. You got a bunch of up, you got a bunch of updates here you can pick and choose from. So. Um, unfortunately, since this is still basically like, it's basically alpha, it's, that's how new it is. Um, they're missing quite a bit of driver packs. So I feel like there would be way more updates than what's on here, especially for, you know, Windows 98, because uh, those automatic updaters definitely do more than this. Unfortunately, I think you can't like select all you have to go through and check each one individually so let's let's try this check that and then yeah so you just have to go through and check it individually you can't actually check all but let's go ahead and test this theory and see if it actually works let's go ahead and just keep it at critical updates package and press download and start download and then down here, it's got a list of the different updates that are included in this package. You can just go ahead and push yes here and let it download. And there you go. And in no way am I endorsing you guys connect old computers to the internet like this. Like it could easily get hacked. But And as you can see, the update is finished and it is now asking me to restart my computer. So let's just go ahead and push yes and let it restart. We have officially rebooted and it didn't say like updating settings or anything like that. So we can go back to that website, click this again. And as you can see, the critical update is gone. But if you press show installed updates, boom, there it is right there. So as you can see, it pretty much works exactly the same. So I was never alive, like I was never around to see this screen. So let's go ahead and get a few more things here before I go. Not sure why it's mentioned. Oh, okay, so it grays it grayed a bunch of stuff out. Interesting. Oh, it grayed everything out. As you can see down here, it the copyright is 2023. Oh, okay, so yeah, see as you can see, they don't actually have this update file. So it, it couldn't be installed, unfortunately. But if you stay tuned, they're trying their best trying to find these the files for every single update. Look at that. That's like four megabytes right there. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't install drivers. Windows Update never really had drivers in it. And of course, this thing can't really detect your system. It might have originally back whenever it was made by Microsoft, but unfortunately, this cannot do that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, 
hopefully this tutorial made sense to you guys. Pretty much all you have to do is make sure you have Internet Explorer 5 if you're on Windows 95 or anything higher uh, after that. You could transfer it over via USB if your computer supports USB or a CD-ROM, which is it's fairly easy to burn. Um, if you guys need a tutorial on how to do that, please let me know down in the comments. I will definitely make one. And yeah, all you gotta do is just go to this website and it's just that easy. You don't have to install anything special other than an Internet Explorer 5. Again, unfortunately, it doesn't actually include the whole uh, automatic updates thing that comes with Windows. But, uh, this is still amazing. I'm so glad this was revived. Or, I'm so glad people are actually working on this. I've wanted this for years. I've always wanted to see what the old Windows Update websites look like. But if this is a uh, Windows Update version 3, what does version 1 and version 2 look like? I would love to see it. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.